Hello and welcome to week 9 of NFL Predictions. My name is Seedle and I'm going to be going through each game and predicting who wins and who loses. There are a lot of big games this week, so let's just get into it. Starting with the 5-2 the and two Green Bay Packers facing the 4-4 four and four 49ers. The Packers had a tough loss last week against the Vikings, 28-22. 49ers also had a loss last week against the Seahawks, 37-27. The Packers offense has done phenomenal this season, averaging 31 points a game, and especially Aaron Rodgers, who has 20 touchdowns with only two interceptions on the year, also throwing three touchdowns in their loss against the Vikings. And Devontae Adams has been a big target for him this year with seven touchdowns and over 500 yards. Uh, now, the Packers do actually have a chance of getting quarantined the next couple, the next couple weeks, but assuming that's not going to happen, I'm going to say the Packers win in a close 28-26 to game over the 49ers. Now we have the 4-3 Miami Dolphins facing the 5-2 Arizona Cardinals. The Dolphins had a win last week against the Rams, 28-17. And the Cardinals also had a huge win against the Seahawks, 37-34 in overtime. And Dolphins QB Tua Tagovailoa didn't have an excellent debut against the Rams, but they still did manage to get the win. But their defense really stepped up in that game, only allowing the Rams to score 17 points, also getting a, a defensive touchdown. But the Cardinals have been on a roll the past few weeks, especially with their win over the Seahawks. I think they continue. To, I think it continue to roll. I'm going to say the Cardinals win 34 to 31 over the Dolphins. Now we have the three and four Denver Broncos facing the two and six Atlanta Falcons. The Broncos had a big fourth quarter comeback against the Chargers to win 31 to 30, and the Falcons also had a win against the Panthers 25 to 17. Broncos offense has struggled a bit to put points on the board this year, and the Falcons defense has struggled a lot against the passing game, allowing 320 yards uh, and 28 points on average a game. But I don't think the Broncos offense is going to be able to keep up with the Falcons offense. I think they win 30-24 to over the Broncos. Now we have the 6-1 Seattle Seahawks facing the 6-2 Buffalo Bills. The Seahawks had a big win against the 49ers last week, 37-27. to And the Bills also had a close win against the Patriots, 24-21. to The Seahawks defense has struggled a lot this year, especially against the pass game, allowing 350 plus yards and over 100 rushing yards. But their offense has really made up for it, scoring 34 points and 430 yards on average a game. And the Bills have had a surprising season this year, going 6-2. But I don't think they're going to be able to win this one. I say the Seahawks win in a close 31-28 game over the Bills. Now we have the 5-3 Chicago Bears facing the 5-2 Tennessee Titans. The Bears had a really close loss to the Saints last week, 26-23 in overtime. And the Titans had a surprising 31-20 loss to the Bengals. The Bears defense has, has done really well this season, only allowing 20 points a game with 361 yards allowed, uh, but their offense has really held them back this year. The Titans defense has done has struggled a bit, allowing over 400 yards and 26 points on average a game. Uh, I think if the Bears offense can step it up, I think they have a really good shot at winning it, but I'm going to go with the Titans. I'm going to say they win close 26 to 24 over the Bears. Now we have the 5-2 Baltimore Ravens facing the 5-2 Indianapolis Colts. The Ravens almost knocked down the undefeated Steelers last week, but ended up losing 28-24. And the Lions had a big win, or the Colts had a big win against the Lions, 41-21. And both of these defenses have done really well this season, only allowing 19 points, uh, both of them on average a game. And their offenses have actually been really similar as well. And I do think this is the, this is the game of the week. And I was really going back and forth on this one. I, re I do think it could go either way, but I'm going to go with the Ravens 24-20 to in a really close uh, fourth quarter win over the Colts. Now we have the 3-5 Carolina Panthers taking on the 7-1 Kansas City Chiefs. The Panthers had a loss against the Falcons last week, 25-17. to And the Chiefs won big against the Jets, 35-9. to And the Chiefs have probably been the best all-around team this year, with their offense averaging 31 points a game. Uh, with 400 plus yards and their defense only allowing 19 points a game with 350 yards on average allowed a game. Uh, the Panthers have struggled quite a bit this year on offense, but their defense has played pretty well, only allowing 24 points a game with 363 yards on average a game. Uh, I do think it's going to be a competitive game, but I'm going to say the Chiefs win 34 to 24 over the Carolina Panthers. Now we have the 3-4 Detroit Lions facing the 2-5 Minnesota Vikings. The Lions had a big loss against the Colts, 41-21, and the Vikings had a surprising victory over the Packers, 28-22. The Lions have really been on and off this year, and both defenses have been struggling quite a bit this year, uh, both of them allowing around 30 points a game, and both of their offenses have been pretty similar this year. 
the Lions averaging 25 points and the Vikings averaging 26 points. Uh, I'm going to go with the upset on this one, though. I'm going to say the Lions win in a close game. I'm going to say they win by two, 27 to 25 over the Vikings. Now we have the 1-7 Giants facing 2-5 Washington. The Giants had a really close loss against the Buccaneers, 23-25. And Washington had a big win against the Cowboys, 25-3. And all the Giants games have been really close this year. And actually, these two these two teams played not too long ago, only a couple weeks ago, with the Giants winning by one point, 20 to 19. And both of the offenses have struggled a lot this year. Giants averaging 18 points and the and Washington averaging 19 points a game. Both defenses have been pretty good this year, but I think it's it's pretty hard to beat a team twice. I'm gonna go with the Washington. I'm gonna go with Washington beating the Giants 24 to 17 in a close game. Now we have the 1-6 Houston Texans facing the 1-6 Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, both of these teams had a bye week last week, but they did actually play a couple weeks ago with the Texans winning pretty big at 30-14. And both of these teams have struggled a lot this year, but I think it's going to be a repeat with ha what happened last week, especially with uh, Jackson uh, Jaguars QB Minshew out, and now they're starting a rookie QB. I think the Texans win pretty big at 30-21 over the Jaguars. Now we have the 4-3 Raiders taking on the 2-5 Chargers. The Raiders had a tough win last week against the Browns, 16-6. And the Chargers had a really close loss to the Broncos, 31-30. Now the Chargers offense has done pretty good this season, averaging 430 yards and 25 points a game. And the Raiders defense has struggled a little bit this season, allowing 29 points and 383 yards a game. Uh, the Raiders have really been on and off a lot this season, so I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to say the uh, Chargers win in a close 27 to 25 game over the Raiders. Now we have the 7 and 0 Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the 2 and 6 Dallas Cowboys. The Steelers had a big win against the Ravens 28 to 24 last week, and the Cowboys lost big against the Eagles 23 to 9. The Cowboys have had a really unfortunate season this year with both of their QBs getting hurt, and their offense really hasn't been able to recover since then. And the Steelers have a big chance of going 10 and 0 this season. I think they continue to to go undefeated. I'm going to say they I'm going to say they win big 30 to 7 over the Cowboys. Now we have the 5 and 2 New Orleans Saints taking on the 6 and 2 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Saints had a close win against the Bears 26 to 23, and the Buccaneers had a also had a really close win against the Giants 25 to 23. Both of these offenses have been really good this season, both of them averaging around 30 points a game. But the Saints defense has struggled a bit this season, allowing 28 points a game. So I'm going to take the Buccaneers defense on this one. I'm going to say it's kind of a shootout, but I'm going to say the Buccaneers win at 35-31 to 31 over the Saints. And finally, we have the 2-5 New England Patriots taking on the 0-8 New York Jets. The Patriots had a close loss against the Bills last week, 24-21. to 21, And the Jets lost big against the Chiefs. 35 to 9. Now, both of these offenses have struggled quite a bit this season, but especially the Jets, only averaging 11 points a game and under 300 yards on average a game. Both of the defenses have struggled a bit this year, but especially the Jets, allowing 30 points a game and over 400 yards on average a game. Uh, if Sam Darnold is able to play this week, I do think it's going to be a somewhat competitive game, but I'm going to go with the Patriots 24, 20 to 14 over the Jets. Thank you for watching and let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my predictions and feel free to post your own in the comments below. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.